Hi everybody, this is Shelly and I'm going to do a really quick November wrap up and maybe a little quick December TBR, so stay tuned. Alright, so I believe I read eight books this month. Um, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven books this month. And really, I'm kind of surprised that I even actually made that many. Um, let's do this. Because I find if I angle them up a little bit, you can't really see them, but it looks really weird. So, okay. So I found that um, I read more than what I thought I would with NaNoWriMo. And I had a bunch of blog tours, but a couple of the books that I got arts for were actually fairly short, so it, it made for a month where um, I was able to actually get a lot more reading done than what I thought I would. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. The last book that I finished reading, and I'm going to try to show you these on my Kindle. Um, sometimes it's really kind of hard to see them, but if I can, I want to show you. The last book I finished was, if I angle it just right, you can see it, um, The State of, Na uh, State of Nature by Ryan Winfield, and that's book three of the Park Service trilogy. This was a really good book, YA Dystopian. I think um, I'll link to my, all my reviews below um, for the books that, because I have reviews for almost all of the books that I read this last month, um, and I'll do little links for those. Um, okay, so the second book that I read, I don't have a picture of, and I'll put a picture right here, or not the second book, but the next one back. Um, I did a blog post, and it is going to be live tomorrow, so depending on when this video comes out, um, the book comes out tomorrow, it's called Gabriel's Redemption by Sylvain Renard, and it's another one that started out, it's the third book of the Gabriel's Inferno trilogy, and it's new adult, or I wouldn't really classify it new adult, I guess it could be borderline new adult slash adult romance. Um, it's a little heavier subject matter than what new adult will normally have. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, it's real intellectual and real, um, I don't really know how to put it other than that. I've reviewed all three books. Um, but, so anyways, Gabriel's Redemption is a really good series. Um, really kind of deep and I don't know what. Anyways. Um, I told you, I know, in my video for, like, the, uh, I know I've talked about it in my haul videos and my TBR shelf video about um, how I'm kind of fascinated with Dante. That comes from this series. It's really, um, has a lot of references to Dante and Beatrice, and they, both of them, both of the main characters are Dante scholars. So that's where that kind of fascination comes from. Okay, so the next book back that I read was the only regular um, hard copy book that I read, and that was No Escape by Mary Burton. Um, I also did a review on this one, and this is a murder mystery thriller book, and if you like those kind of books, it's a fairly quick read, just a mass market paperback, just came out, um, and it's really, really good book if you like this kind of story. And then I read Remy by Katie Evans, and if you've read Real by Katie Evans, this is the third book to that series, which is, um, I might as well just talk about mine too, because I did a review for mine and that was another one of the books. So there was Real, Mine, and Remy. So Real and Mine are told from Brooke's point of view, the female. And then Remy is told from Remy's point of view. I loved Real. Loved, loved Real. And I loved Real because I loved Remy too. I did not love Real because I loved Brooke, because she was, you know, okay for me. Um, there were times when I liked her, there were times when I was so frustrated with her I couldn't really stand it. Second book. So I gave Real four stars, I believe, on Goodreads. Second book, mine, I gave two and a half stars, I think, maybe even just two on Goodreads, but I might have said, oh, I'd give it two and a half stars. It was a lot of the same, like, repetition of phrases, um, of actions, um, it was just like reading the same book over and over and over again. So there was like some major things that happened and all this, but Brooke was so unlikable for me in this book that it made it almost unbearable to read at times. So then if you've read um, Slammed and Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover, both of those are told from the girl's point of view. And then she wrote um, This Girl, um, and that is told from Will's point of view. 
Um, and basically what it does is something, some major event has happened after the first two books. And so he's telling her his parts of the story in between this, you know, event that's taking place. So for me, that's what Remy was like. Remy, it's his, him, it's this big event that's happening. And there's like little snippets about five or six little snippets throughout the book of this event. And then um, it's him telling his story from the time that they met everything important that kind of led up to this event. So I loved the fourth, uh, the third book as much as the first book. Um, and I don't really want to give you like this whole review because I reviewed it. But anyways, just a little, you know, that's what the book was about and that kind of thing. So if you liked real, you would probably like Remy. And you would probably almost get enough from reading Remy that you wouldn't even really have to read the second book, I don't think. Okay, so then the next book I read after that was also another, and I'm sorry, I'm looking down, I'm trying to find it on my Kindle, um, another Kindle book, and that was Into the Fire by Jodie McIsaac, and I know I've showed this on my TBR for last time, Ooh, right there, you can see it, Into the Fire by Jodie McIsaac, and that was also the second book of the series, and it's a Celtic lore, fae, um, paranormal, para normal story. And then the last book that I read, which was almost the first book that I read, not quite, it was the second book I read this month, which is super confusing, sorry about that, was Beside Your Heart by Mary Whitney, and this is like a really small cover image, so there you go. Um, and it was a, I don't really know how to classify this one. I would say it's new adult, but it's new adult told from a young adult perspective. And what I mean by that is, and I'll link my review, but it's, the story starts when they're adults, and he's like the guy, the boy that got away when she was in high school. So it goes back and tells the story of how they met and kind of their love story, but it's when they're like 16 and 17 years old. So it's new adult content which means there are like detailed love scenes and that kind of thing. Things that happen in a new, um, a young adult setting, but it's a new adult themed, if that makes any sense at all. It probably doesn't. So um, it was a good book and there's a sequel to it and it leaves on kind of a cliffhanger. There was a sequel and so I picked up the um, sequel. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but anyway, so that is the books that I read this past month. So I'm going to do a TBR for December and I probably shouldn't just because I did get a handful of my TBR books that I put up for last month read because they were uh, review books and I knew that I had to get them done. But okay, so I'm just going to do this. I have eight books that I need to read to get my 125 Goodreads goal. So I picked out eight books and we'll see how it goes. So I'm not going to promise that I'm going to get these read because you know how that goes. So I am reading, and I've just got, see, ooh, I take the sleeves off when I read. Um, I'm reading Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell right now, and I said this in one of my other videos that I just finished reading um, the, the trilogy by Ryan Winfield, and it was kind of a, kind of not really a sad ending, but kind of an emotional ending, and I wanted something kind of light. I don't know if I would classify Fangirl as light. Um, it's fun and it's funny, and I'm enjoying it enough that I'll probably have to go pick up um, her other two books just because, and I know I just talked about going on a book buying day, but if I can find those cheap somewhere, I'm definitely going to pick those up. So after I read Fangirl, I'm going to read I Love My Hills Heart by Sabrina Lacey, and this is a review book. I picked a couple of review books because um, I have a handful of them that I definitely really need to get read, so this is one of them, and so I'm going to read that. Then I'm going, and this is another review book, and I'm going to read There's to Keep by My Banks. And this is a fairly um, thin book. This one, definitely, I'm going to read that. Um, Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. This is definite this month. I'm definitely reading this one. So since I have Never Fade, I also picked it because I have a feeling that when I finish Darkest Minds, I'm going to want to go straight into this one. So these books are, like, so heavy. So, um, yeah, these two for sure. And then this one I picked up kind of um, because I know the movie's getting ready to come out and because I have it and 
Um, it has tiny, tiny prints. So we'll see. This may be one that gets pushed back depending on how, and you probably know what I'm talking about. And that's The Book Thief by Marcus Duzak. And I keep seeing such, such wonderful things about this book. And I hope that I like it as much as everybody is has raved about it. So we'll see. Um, and it does have tiny print in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. This one's fairly small. Um, but we'll see. So this one may be one that, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And then this one, because I bought it and I really, really need to know what happens. So Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi. And then the last one I picked, which will definitely be read this month, um, and it's small and I just hauled it. Um, and I got it to read this month, so I'm definitely reading that one this month, this one, this month, and that's Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, because it's supposedly a winter story, and I think I want to read it in December, so anyways, if you've read any of these books, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of them, if you want to see a review on any of these books, leave me a comment, and I'll do like a little book talk or review or whatever on them if you want, and I will, um, See you next month or, you know, for my next video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.